YouTube, this is Brandon Parker again. I'm at it with another Sony Vegas tutorial. In this Sony Vegas tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use the uh, track motion and uh, show you how to do a, a little bit of video editing with the track motion and stuff like that. And show you how to get around and everything with the track motion. So I'm going to jump right into my virtual version of Windows on my Mac. I'm going to go into my Windows right now. Okay. Now there's different things you can do with the track motion. There's uh, different effects and everything. You could uh, let's see. You could go right in here. We wait for the project to open that I was working on. It shouldn't take that long. Okay. And this is kind of what I got to show you. You get started. I'm going to just I'm go all the way here. Okay. Shift B. You can kind of see what I did with the track motion. To get to track motion, you go to tools, and you go to video, and it'll show the track motion. And you just click on that, and you can work with the track motion. I'll show you the window in a second. Right now, I'm going to show you what I've done so far uh, for this example in this tutorial. Might not show all of that I've done because, uh, like I said, when I try to preview certain things in Sony Vegas, it won't let you preview all of uh, what you worked on so far. It depends. It only does like two seconds or or five seconds at least, at most anyway. It'll let you do. It depends on how fast your computer is and everything, and how much memory you have uh, on your uh, Windows. Like me, I'm using all my memory to my Mac because I really don't use Windows. So that's why uh, it's running a bit slow right now and everything. And I've told you that in a few of my other videos that I've done, the reason why it runs slow and everything. And yeah, I have a bunch of uh, different uh, transitions and everything. And the ones that I don't like in the transitions are the new blue. I have them, but uh, some of them are cool, but not all of them. I think they're like too whacked out and they're not really as good as the regular ones that came with Sony Vegas. But some of them are, some of them not. It depends on what you're trying to do. They come out better in certain things that you're doing. And like I said, it's a little bit slow because uh, my Mac and everything, because uh, Windows is not my main operating system. So I'm gonna go to Start Tax Manager. I'm gonna go to, uh, let's see, where's Vegas? And also you can make sure that you could try to make Vegas uh, high priority. Don't uh, make it real time. Just make sure you just make it high priority. And then I'm gonna change the priority. And I'm gonna go uh, and exit out of that. And when that's done, I'll show you. And I'll open up the track motion window and everything after this is uh, ready. Okay. And that's all it was allowing me to see for right now that I've done. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to uh, minimize this window a little bit so that uh, my dock won't be on top of it. I'm just going to um, resize to the Sony Vegas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Resize. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to get back into here and uh, play it in full time. Okay. And that's pretty much what I've done. I made it look like a, like a, a what do you say, a collage type thing with uh, different clips right on top of each other. I added a, uh, the border, I added a border, I just went into uh, effects and I added Sony border, where is it, or where is it? when these border I used that and around and I made it white and then it's and I lighten it a little bit so it looks a little blue and it's this effect that I have here I have this um, little sparkle effect that uh, I downloaded from YouTube uh, one of the videos that I found on YouTube uh, a while back uh, like when I first started Sony Vegas and I was messing around and myself, I was learning too how to use Sony Vegas, but most of it I taught myself. I just played around with it, messed around with the features and everything, and then just kept practicing, doing a bunch of videos and everything in it. And uh, this is what the track motion looks like. Okay, I'm gonna grab another uh, project, go to my project, grab another clip, and then go in a 
for each one make sure you add another video track for each different uh one you're trying to do go to track. <clears throat> And then you're gonna go into uh, right here. You're gonna make sure that uh, you uh, have audio. You're gonna have to have audio with it. So what you're gonna do is drag it to the one that's showing the audio, of the track, so that it won't uh, put an audio uh, right down in here, an audio track, because uh, I think that uh, messes up your uh, workstation and where you're working on your timeline. So just drag it where you have your audio track. It's right here, and then. You delete your audio and everything when you uh, have it on the track that you uh, want to put it on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... The reason why it looks like that because that's where I left off in track motion on this uh, part right here. You could change it a little bit at the end uh, so that it could uh, go back to full screen. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. Put it right there. And I'm going to go to cut. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, end it to right about let's see, oh, let's say start it to here, right around in here. Okay, split that, and then go to groups. Make sure you remove from. Okay, remove the audio, and then you cut that out, or you delete that. I have a Mac, so I commands a little different so I just cut it out that's why I do a lot of uh, manually cutting out and everything because I have a Mac and two I don't really use Sony Vegas anyways I just have it just for tutorials just to help you guys out show you editing show you different things you can do between Sony Vegas and and I also do tutorials in Final Cut I use both of them and I'm pretty good with uh, everything on both programs mm. There's things I like uh, better in the other than I like the other. Like, there's more things I like in Final Cut than I do Sony Vegas since I've used Final Cut and since I've had my Mac. So we're gonna go back uh, here and just make sure I drag this. Oops. Don't zoom in with that. Okay, go back to here. Go up to this track right here, and I'm gonna probably do this. Look right in here. Right there, right there, right about there. Okay, make this to it here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go to tools, like I said, and then you go to video and then you go to track motion. Okay. And what I'm gonna do first uh, before I do anything else is I'm gonna go to X. Let's see, let's go to video effects and add a border to it. Okay, I'm gonna go to let's see, solid white border. Make sure I add it onto the track. Okay. Size. Take it down a little bit. Right about there. Okay. This about close. And then uh, I'm gonna go in here, and this is where you mess around with the track motion. Right here is is the middle dot. Is the middle where you mess around with that. Oh, and also to make sure you when you're because a lot of movies or whatever you're working with will be in uh, widescreen so make sure you go to switches uncheck maintain aspect ratio and then that should be gone and then you go back to here and you mess around with it and it won't look funny and off a little bit when you're working with track motion you have a border and everything it'll look cut off a little bit and right here this is where you resize it size you want and you can spin this around a little bit you go right into here and you mess around. You just mess around with the track motion, resize and everything. You can mess around with the effect. Like I'm doing like a collage effect, kind of a little bit. But like a Polaroid effect or whatever you want to call it. It kind of looks like that. Like pictures are being taken from the movie and everything. So I'm going to spin this around a little bit to the size I want. I'm going to make this a lot smaller. And then I'm going to like anything that you're doing kind of like you do with the transitions or video effects or whatever you pick the time that you want it to happen or whatever I'm gonna do that. Okay. make the size a lot bigger okay. 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 
Okay. Shouldn't let me use like that. I don't know why. Maybe if I zoom in on it. See that got it's shorter, right? Because I made it a bit too small. Okay, there it goes. I resize it to there. I'm going to make this a bit to right there. I'm messing around with that. Because I'm going to go right in here. Maybe with this. Make sure that she... Because it adds its own points right down in here where it's going to happen. It's like a track. It's like on the whole track. So that's where the track motion is going to happen. So it doesn't happen to the clip. It happens to the whole track. So whatever you're adding to the track, that's exactly what everything's going to do on that track with the track motion. So don't just think it's going to happen to that clip only. It's going to happen to all the clips that are on that same track in the same spot. Like if you had uh, two different uh, clips, like if you had another clip over, like you had this clip and then another clip over next to it, it'll do whatever you set it to down here, wherever the points are that you set it to. Like that, and this around there. There, there, there. Okay, adding a lot more points. Okay. Do it like that. Change it up a little bit to it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna shift B this. Okay, and see how it looks. And stuff. And, uh,. I added a transition so it kind of looks uh, a little off right there because uh, the transition, you might not want to have a transition or whatever, you might want to get rid of it, depends, depends, you just mess around with transitions, you mess around with the track motion, just know that it'll be on the whole track so whatever clips you add to that track, uh, it'll do whatever you set to that point, it'll be to the size of the track and the motion and everything, so you just uh, watch what your, your uh, Make sure that you uh, add another track if you want a uh, different uh, track motion effects. If you just add another track every time. Now I know if you have uh, anything other than Sony Vegas, you can't have unlimited, unlimited number of tracks onto your uh, timeline. So make sure that you have Sony Vegas uh, Pro 9 version and you can add an unlimited number of tracks. If you have like Sony Vegas Platinum or whatever or Sony Vegas. Uh, movie studio you can only add a certain number of tracks to your uh, videos when working so uh, I say best is to have Sony Vegas because you get to do a lot more and it has a lot more features and everything and you could do uh, pretty much what you want you can do a lot more and I think there's a lot more options with Sony Vegas than there is uh, Sony Vegas movie studio or platinum or whatever the, the uh, basic ones so if you have the pro version you could do a lot more and uh, my uh, Windows runs pretty slow, so uh, I'll try to get through this as much uh, possible as fast as I can. And uh, pretty much, I'm just trying to show you what uh, track motion does and what you could do with it a little bit. Uh, you just play around with it and everything. You, you, it, I don't. It's kind of hard to uh, uh, to go specifically with just one thing on uh, exactly on how to do it. You ha I, I pretty much. Uh, just want to explain everything on it and just get people to get familiar with it and get people to understand how to use uh, track motion, what it can do and what you can do with it. You just got to be creative. Everything in Sony Vegas is, is about being creative and it's kind of like art. If you could draw pretty well, then you could uh, you can do anything with uh, like Photoshop or whatever and stuff like that. If you got a creative mind with drawing, if you got a creative mind with video editing and you got uh, some good ideas and everything. Uh, video editing shouldn't be that much difficult to you. It depends. It takes a lot of practice. You just mess around with all the features in it and you can get what you want out of it. And I'm just showing you a little bit of how to do track motion, what it can do a little bit. And you can just play around with all the features in Sony Vegas. And uh, I've done a lot of tutorials and explaining so far with Sony Vegas. And hopefully this sums up uh, a lot more things that I've said everything in uh, my previous tutorials. And this is uh, pretty much what I haven't done uh, a video uh, in my tutorials about is the track motion so I wanted to show you and this is what it looks like in real time. Now it's a little off and everything because like I said, 
uh, either the tracks are or maybe the video clip is uh, not perfectly syncing or whatever because uh, I have an external hard drive so it runs a little slow and it's always reading whatever's on the external hard drive and I have a lot of files on it and everything and so it's trying to read all the information from that so that's why it's a little slow but when you want to render it and everything it shouldn't uh, be as slow as it is right now and also uh, Sony Vegas takes a lot of your memory on your computer so just make sure that uh, you understand that and everything and that's why I say if you have a Mac and you're a Mac user try to stay away from Sony Vegas as much as possible because I know Final Cut it may seem hard to use but it's a lot uh, better than everything for what I think to do and use and everything and that's pretty much uh, it on the track motion I hope uh, you got what you're looking for and, and that's it and also too, to take snapshots or whatever like still video clips like portraits or whatever from a clip and I showed you that in my Photoshop uh, CS5 tutorial when I was trying to teach you how to do a wallpaper and screen caps and everything you just go to uh, project media I'm gonna insert another uh, let's see go down here I'll just delete this uh, video track. I'll just delete this. Or we'll put it remove from. Uh, delete track. And then I'll just get this. And you can take, like, I'll get a new track. Insert new video track. Put this on top. Okay. And then I'll go to switches. Uncheck maintain aspect ratio. And here's how you could take a snapshot. I also showed you this in a couple of my other tutorials. But to, just to mess around a little bit with taking a screen cap of a picture or something. And what's a good spot in this movie? Um, towards the, like right in here, I'll take a snapshot of this. Okay, and go here. Save, uh, you save snapshot to file. Go to this. Save it to wherever you want to save it to. I call it uh, image one, okay? And it'll take a snapshot of this picture and you just have this. And then you can do it wherever you want here. If you want this one, this one, you just go here and you save it to, save it to here and it'll be called image two. If you see where it, there's the first one that I did. And uh, this one will be called image two. And I'll be deleting these because I don't really, want these like I don't want that guy there or whatever I don't want a picture of this guy either but you get the uh, gist of how to take a snapshot and everything and that's pretty much it in this tutorial comment rate subscribe tell me what you think uh, if I helped you out or whatever if you got a better understanding like I said to get into track motion make sure you go to tools go to video and you go to track motion play around with it and this is position you can add like glows to it and everything and you can change the color of the glow and you can, you know, move out the glow. It's in the back here and you move that out a little bit. And you mess around with that. You change the size right here and you mess around and you add the glow and everything around it. And then you just mess around in here, there, size and everything. You just mess around with this and everything. I think because uh, right here, let's see. Way this is, it's kind of hard to tell because, uh, like this is uh, needs a border and everything. If you have a border to it, it looks a lot better, and that's pretty much it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and that's it.